Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In today's video, we're going to be installing Active Directory. This is video two of the series that I want to be filming and doing. So if you're ready for the video, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back. So in this video, we're going to be installing Active Directory in 2019. So in this video, that's what I'm going to be doing. We're going to be installing it. So this is slide number one. So we're going to be doing this again, picking up from the last video. We're going to be using that same server and we're going to build on that. And that's how we're going to build this, this course. All right. So if you see here, this is my um, Windows Server 2019. What? So, so this is the next slide. So in this host, I, I, we, we're running, you know, my physical box, which is Windows 10, and that's my specs down there. I just kept that on the slide so you guys know. And I am running it in Windows, I mean, excuse me, VMware Workstation 15. And this host, um, we're gonna be installing um, Active Directory Domain Services, that's what ADDS stands for, DNS. And this is my IP settings that I want to assign. Uh, actually, whoops, it's gonna be a 24 bit mask. I should have put that, but you'll see it. I want to allocate um, eight gigs of memory. And my domain that we're gonna be, I'm gonna be building on is infosecpat.local. Okay, so next slide. This is what we're gonna be doing. We're gonna be, you know, setting up after the domain control is installed. We're going to be creating, changing the site name and sites and services to Florida because I'm located in Florida. Um, we're going to add a few OUs that stands for organizational unit, so we can structure the Active Directory architecture a little more um, clean. And we're going to be creating a group policy and so on and so forth. All right, cool. So that's it for right now. So let's um, let's get to work. So I have my 2019 box. This is where we. Um, left off and what I want to do is do a control delete here. I want to log in with my fancy password. Okay. And this is the 2019 box. We can go to local server. See right here, we have a work group. We have everything as default, right? So with that being said, we're going to have to make some few changes and few tweaks that I'm going to be doing. And first I want to take out the IE enhanced security. I want to just turn this off for administrators because it's sometimes it's a pain in the neck. And you know what? I'm going to turn it off as a whole. I'm just going to shut it off. All right. And we can refresh this. It should say off. Now it says off here. Okay. And a few things we're going to do is I'm going to actually do that in a group policy. So first things first, I'm going to change the IP um, because right now it's uh, set up as a dynamic IP. So this is pulling from my router because I do set it up as bridge connection. So what we can do here is go to properties. I'm going to disable IPv4 because we're not running IPv4 in this network. I want to go to IP settings. I'm going to assign my IP 192, whoops. 192.168.50.201 with a 24-bit mask and 192.168.50.1 is my router and the DNS is going to be 192.168.50.1 and we can do 8.8.8.8 .8 .8. okay fair enough so that's that make sure we can get it gets online, it should be good. Okay, we have internet, perfect. All right, cool, so that's that. And I think we should be golden now. Uh, let's see what else we can do on the server side. So if you go to dashboard, so here we can just look at the services. All right, so the downloader app, uh, download maps. So we can go to services here. The way we can get these these uh, errors fixed is go to uh, tools services and we're going to disable that and we can go to download 
download, download, download service. Where are you? Download Maps Manager. We can disable. Now we can refresh this. There we go. Now this is all green, green, mean machine. All right, so now that's that. So the first thing, I wanna do a few little commands really quick so you guys can um, check it out. So I'm gonna actually pin this to my stop menu. So the first things first, I wanna um, do who am I, right? Who am I? This is gonna show me who I am logged into this machine. So as you see, this is, um, there is no domain controller, there's no domain. And another thing we can run, another command is echo, percent sign, if I can find it, log on server, percent sign, and it's gonna show itself. So this is, this is um, useful, and then you can also do a set command to show you the log on server as well, which is right here. But that's, that's useful like when you have computers joined to the domain, so you see, because we're gonna be setting up child domains, read-only domain controllers, um, server cores, so a lot of fun stuff's gonna come. So let's just get started installing Active Directory on here, okay? This is gonna be our first primary domain controller in Alforest. All right, so we're gonna do manage, add roles and features. Okay, we're gonna to go to next. It's gonna be a role-based, next. This is gonna be our first server. This is the IP address, perfect, next. We're gonna choose Active Directory domain services and we're gonna hit next. This next, leave everything as is, next. That's fine, install. This takes a few minutes. While that takes a few minutes, we'll, um, we'll check out nothing. I guess there's nothing to really check out. We just have to wait for this, then we'll reboot, and then we'll um, continue the installation of promoting the domain, pr promoting this server to a domain control. This is gonna install the role, and then we have to promote it to actually be a domain control. This should only take a few minutes, maybe 30 seconds to a minute. It's almost done, it's about 65, 70% done. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this. This is video two. So if you, um, you know, didn't watch video one, that's installing Windows Server, that's installing this server that we're building on right now, which is, uh, I did yesterday. So cool. So if you see right under here, it says promote this server to a domain controller. So let's click on that. All right, so we have add a, add a domain controller to an existing domain. Obviously that's not our, we don't have an existing domain. Um, add, a, add a new domain to an existing forest. Obviously we don't have that quite yet. So we're gonna do a new domain, right? A new forest. So our, our um, root domain in my case is gonna be info sec Pat dot local, okay? So that's gonna be mine. You can do whatever you want. You, if you wanna follow along step-by-step, step, go ahead. But obviously my IP settings, if, you're, if you use a bridge connection, your segment might be different. You might be 192.168.1, whatever you are. And one thing to remember, put these IP addresses outside your DHCP scope of your router because you don't wanna have conflicts, okay? And this is not really you know, a router networking course, but just a FYI, if you have any questions, just hit me up on the comments and I'll help you. All right, so let's go to next. All right. All right, so the functionality level. So we don't, uh, let's give it a second. So we don't have 2019. I'm gonna actually put it at 2012 because of a few reasons. Oh. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's do a 2012. And the reason being, 2012, that should be fine. The reason being, because I might integrate other domains or other servers into this forest. And just to be backwards compatible, I'll be safe. Um, I have a few uh, ideas for later. So now you have your um, directory services restore mode password. So we're gonna get into this as well. This is so you can restore Active Directory. So just save this password somewhere safe and sound. All right, and this is gonna be a DNS server, and this is gonna be a global catalog server, all right? 
in a couple more videos, we're going to be integrating a read-only domain controller. So, but not this video. All right, let's go to next. Next. This is going to be probably the InfoSec. Right here, the NetBIOS name should be InfoSec Pat, obviously, InfoSec Pat. And once that's done, yep, InfoSec Pat, that's on this NetBIOS domain name. Hit next. And once this goes to next, you can leave everything defaulted for the database, for the NTFS, uh, NTDS, sorry, and the sysvol directory and all like that. You can just leave it defaulted, all right? All right, so this is the, this is what's gonna be installed. We can view the script. This script is actually a PowerShell script. You can save this um, on your desktop. You can save it wherever. I can, for an example, save it. I can save it on desktop. <clears throat> I can save it as, I don't know, first dc.ps1, okay? And then X out of here. And we'll look at that in a minute. We'll go to next. It needs to go through the prerequisite uh, check to make sure we're all good to go to install it uh, and promote it as a domain controller. All right, so let it go through its thing. Bada bing, bada boom. We're all good here. Everything looks good. We're golden. We can hit install now. All right, so let that do its installation. While that does its thing, let's go ahead and go to the desktop. All right. Not that. Let's go to the desktop. Show the desktop. All right, so this, we can open this up and run in PowerShell. Not really run in PowerShell. I want to run it in, let's go open. Uh, let me see. This thing doesn't have power. Let's go PowerShell. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's go here. We go to fuck. Okay, let's open up. All right. We'll get to that later, all right? So never mind about that for now. That's not really a part of this video right now. So it's done, it's been promoted. Hit close, we're gonna have to reboot. And once it reboots, there it goes. It's gonna reboot. And once it reboots, we're gonna log in to the domain as the administrator. And I wanna show you, I wanna do, a bef you know, I wanna log in locally. And then I wanna log into the domain and show you a few things. So you can see the difference, all right? Once this reboots. Hopefully um, everyone's having a good day. Hopefully everyone is staying safe from the crazy coronavirus and everyone is healthy, right? All right, let's go. This is probably gonna take a little bit because it has to install, start the services. It's it's not like a standalone member server anymore. It's an Active Directory server. So we should be, we should be good in a few minutes, All right? So let's uh, give this un momento. Man, I think I lowered my AC too, too low. It's freezing now. All right, come on, you can do it. All right, I guess while that's doing that, I'm going to take a drink, drink of my tea because I'm getting a little thirsty. All right. You know, everyone has their coffee, their whatever they like to drink. I like to drink green tea. I've never been a coffee drinker. So we'll give this a few seconds to apply its settings. And it should be up and running anytime now. And this is a pretty cool, uh, I finally gave in. I, I've been wanting to do something like this for, for quite a while. And I figured what better time than now with this crazy pandemic, uh, you know, everyone has to stay at home and, you know, hopefully everyone is working and healthy getting through this. And it's, it's a, it's a crazy time right now. But what can we do, you know? We just have to hang in there and do whatever we can to help each other and and keep moving forward. So, all right, come on, you can do it, you can do it. I really don't want to pause the video. I want to go through it. 
and whatever it takes, you know, it takes a few minutes, it takes a few minutes. This has taken a little more than a few minutes. All right, come on, holy moly. But anytime you install a domain controller for the first time, don't expect it to boot up super quick, especially in the virtual environments, depending on how much memory you have, how many CPUs you allocated to it, um, how much hard drive space, et cetera, et cetera. Like, you know, it's just, it's just the way you, it's the way it is when you install the domain controller. But this has taken a very long time. It's almost at a minute and a half, two minutes now. I don't know what else I can talk about while this is uh, going, but I guess I can talk about the first five videos, right? So the first one was installing um, Windows Server 2019. This one is installing Active Directory. The next video I have written down is for a secondary domain controller right and the fourth one I, I it's over there and I, I obviously i don't want to get up i think the fourth one is installing a child domain so but we'll get into that and then um no actually the fourth one first one is first one second one is this one third one is adding a, a secondary domain uh third one is adding a, a read-only domain controller an rodc the, f the fifth one is Creating a, um, creating a, uh, RODC, um, a child domain, and then a server core, and then from there on out, then I'll stop building. You know, whatever, whatever else is, uh, whatever else is needed. All right, so I am gonna pause it now because it's been about three minutes, and I don't want you guys to be bored. So I'm gonna pause it and resume once it's done. Okay, welcome back. So that took about another two and a half minutes or so. All right, so let's go ahead and do a control delete. And as you see here, it says infosec pat slash administrator, right? So let's go ahead and log in. And we're gonna log in. All right, so if I look in here, let's minimize this. And if I do who am I, we're on the infosec pat slash administrator. So that means we're on the domain. So now if we do, for an example, if we want to see, do set, we can see in here, actually, let's see if I can make this a little bigger. Uh, properties, fonts, 28, boom. All right, here we go. There it is. Now you can see some stuff. All right, so if we see here, the logon server now, and the administrator, the computer name, so if you see domain right here, domain, user domain, infosec path. And another, um, another um, command we can run in here, we do net dom query fismo. This will go out and show what the, the five fismo roles that are running. Obviously we only have this one primary domain controller. We have the schema master, domain naming master, uh, uh, PDC, which is your primary domain controller, your RID pool master, infrastructure master. All right, cool deal. So if we do this and we can do PDC, obviously we only have one. And if we do DC, obviously we only have the one. So this is show you all the list of the domain controllers within that forest. All right, cool. So let's exit out of here and let's go ahead and we're gonna have to make some changes really quick. Um, because obviously when you add your computer, DNS gets a little screwy and IPs and all that stuff. So let's go into IP, IP addresses. Let's go into here. So for example, now I have no internet. If I go here, DNS is gone, bada bing, bada boom. We have to fix that. Let's go in here, properties. Let's go to IPv4. See how one to one, uh, 172, that's the loopback address. So we'll make the the, D, the DNS 192, 
because this is the primary, and we'll do 8.8.8.8 .8 so we can get it out to um, the in internet, the interwebs. All right, let's give that a second. Hopefully we can get out to the internet. Hopefully. Let's refresh this. Why is no working? 50 to 201. There we go. All right, that scared me. All right, so now we have access to internet, internet. All right, cool. So now this is a domain controller. And like I said, I'm gonna make a group policy. Uh, before we go to the group policy, I want to, I want to go to manage, whoops, tools, uh, sites and services. I wanna open up sites and services and users and computers. All right, so we can go to users and computers. We can see our domain controller. This is our primary domain controller, all right? We can create an OU. We can do new organizational unit. We can make this Florida, okay? And in Florida, I can create another OU, all right? I wanna put computers. I wanna make users. I wanna do groups, G-R-O-U-P-S, groups. And then one more for servers. This is how this is how I would normally organize this, right? So we'll get into you know more of the structure of Active Directory in upcoming videos, but that should be it for now. Let's minimize that. And in sites and services, so we have one site obviously. We have right here our default first site. So we have servers, it's only just one box right now. So we're gonna rename this. Rename, rename. All right, so we do F-L-O-R-I-D-A, Florida. All right, so let's refresh here. Now we have Florida, sites, Florida, servers. Okay, perfect. So let's go back into Active Directory, domain controllers. This is in site. Let's see if we refresh this, it just changed to Florida, bada bing. All right, so now the last thing we can do is open up group policy objects. Let's go to tools, group policy, where, where are you? Uh, group policy management. And we're, I'm just gonna do a quick group policy um, just to alleviate more pain later. But I wanna do an, a firewall policy and I wanna show you guys how to do this. Oh my God, what's going on, come on. All right, so when I go out here, we're gonna do a new group policy. Uh, do, 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 do. Create a new group policy. I wanna make it as firewall, okay. And I'm gonna double click on here, it's fine. All right, so we're gonna to go to right click, edit. We're gonna to go to computer management, computer configuration, policies, whoops. Oh, uh, Windows settings, it's a weird little fly. All right, so in here, we have a Windows Defender Firewall and Advanced Security. Then we in here, uh, let's make this a little bigger so you can see, all right? So under here, we have inbound rules and outbound rules. As we can see, let's minimize this really quick so I, I can show you what I'm doing. Let's open up this, this guy again. So in here, we're gonna add the firewall rule on the DC to, you know, for the disable firewall. So we're gonna allow uh, inbound firewall. I wanna, you know, I'm gonna put all this stuff in the description, but um, we're gonna allow inbound, allow outbound for Active Directory, file and print service and WMI. And then we're going to create a custom uh, inbound rule for ping, okay, on a domain. So I want to put that over there so I don't forget what I'm doing. All right, so let's do the first things first. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go to properties. Um, domain, I want to turn this off. I want to allow, allow, okay. 
So inbound, I want to allow the connections and outbound, I want to allow, okay? That's that, I wanna, that's, I'm disabling that. All right, so the next thing I'm looking over here now is to allow inbound, so inbound, new rule. We're gonna to go to Active Directory Domain Services, bada bing. Next, allow this connection, boom. Well, a couple more, we're gonna do next one, we're gonna do file and print, we're gonna do predefined, file and print, can't even see. Uh, do, 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 do. Where are you? File. Oh, right here. File and printer sharing. Next, allow this connection. And the last one is WMI. The light is right in my eye, so it's like. Last one is WMI. WMI. WMI, right here. Boom. Boom. Allow this connection, bada bing. All right, so now let's go to outbound, create new rule, predefined, same thing, same thing, allow this connection, same thing for the next two. Predefined, file and print, file and print sharing, next, next, allow this connection, boom. And one more, it's a WMI. W, whoop, not that, not Windows, not. WMI, next, next, allow this connection, next. And one, uh, one last thing we're gonna do is the customized ping inbound, all right, to the domain. So we go here, we can go to new rule, we can go to custom, now we're gonna do a custom, and all programs, that's fine. And then protocol is not any, it's gonna be IPv4, I mean ICMP v4. Okay, next, we're gonna allow on any, any IP, any IP, it's fine. Allow this connection, next. I'm only gonna allow it on the domain, that's fine. And I wanna put P-I-N-G, okay, bada bing. Now that's up top, that should be it. So now we can X out of here, okay, X out of here. We can exit out of here. And what we can do on the, on the command line, Let's make this a little bigger so you can see. We can do a GP update space slash force. And what this is doing, it's doing a group policy update and it's forcing that policy to, to take effect at the very moment, okay? So that's what this is doing here. And then we can look at the results of it. So if we do GP result, space slash R, we can look at the results of the group policy that we made. So if we go up here, we can see the firewall policy that's applied to this, all right? So that concludes this video. Um, we, have a, we have an Active Directory domain. We are golden. This is the first one in this, in this video. In this video series is the first domain controller. So if you guys enjoyed the video, Please like, share, you know, sharing is caring and subscribe to my videos and to my channel, you know, add me on social media if you like on Twitter, Instagram, and please, if you have any questions, leave them in the, in the comments below and many more videos to come. This is going to be a cool little one. So have a good one. Thanks again and stay tuned for more.